recognize me. I, 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 will, I will recognize you as long as you wave. <laughs> Someone tells me you couldn't keep him quiet about No okay. way, <laughs> no way. He is passionate about the subject. So, Mr. Armstrong. Good morning, Chair, members of the board. Brian Armstrong, Assistant Executive Director. This is an action item. I'll be providing a staff recommendation at the end of my presentation. And in addition, uh, Polk County Commission Chair George Lindsay is here to provide comment and answer some questions that you may have. This presentation is broken down in two parts. One is seeking approval for a change in scope, and the other is seeking approval for a resolution that you were emailed last week and sits in front of you at the dais currently. What I'd like to point out when we started this effort is we were looking for two things. One was to develop an entity, and the other one was to choose a project. We're providing you with an alternative that we feel is more beneficial in five ways. One, it gets the entity formed two years faster. Two, it picks a project two years faster. The district has less money at risk up front, and the, the, the support is not only by the county, but by the municipalities, many of which are in attendance today to show their support. And lastly, and more importantly, your funding is committed as milestones are met. In FY13, the board approved funding for an update to the Polk County Regional Water Supply Plan. As you heard, the CFWI effort usurped that, and the CFWI plan is now incorporated into the Regional Water Supply Plan. What we're asking for you today is to allow us to modify that scope of work, which these three things play into the resolution or the second part of this presentation. And we're looking to do three things. Assist with the establishment of the entity, we're also asking for uh, a change so that they may evaluate the projects and choose their project and then develop the documents necessary and the technical basis to support the project and get the municipalities and the county online moving forward. The total cost is 478000 The district share remains the same. Um, there is an increase for the municipalities and Polk County of $100,000. And the reason for this, those are legal costs that the district will not share in those costs. Moving on to the resolution. The resolution basically outlines the commitments of both the district, municipalities, and the county. And what the county and municipalities are committing to is if you approve the change in scope by June 13th, they will, we will have that executed and moving forward with that effort. Uh, and by April 30th, they will be back in front of you presenting the entity and by April 30th, 2017, they will have chosen their project. Again, those schedules are moved up two years by this effort. The district is committing to funding with these milestones. They're being asked to encumber the, 15, the, the $10 million allocated in fiscal year 15, and they're also asking to put an additional $10 million in this current budget cycle, both contingent upon the execution of that project plan or the change in scope I just discussed. Next year, an additional $10 million is being requested if the regional entity is formed and accepted. And finally, an additional $10 million in FY18 when the project is uh, uh, selected and approved. Some key verbiage in here that's also in the resolution. Those two words, accepted and approved. That means they're going to come back in front of you where you will make the decision if you like the entity governance and if you like the project and it provides the 30 million gallons per day that we initially intended, you will have those opportunities when setting the budget in 17 and 18. At this point, I'd like to bring up Commissioner Lindsay for comments and questions. Good morning, board members. For the record, my name is George Lindsay, and I'm the chairman of the Polk County Board of County Commissioners. Today I have with me, and I'd like to introduce some, some of our city partners with us today, Ryan Levengood, city manager, Lake Alford, <clears throat> Bobby Green, city manager of Auburndale, Amy Arrington, city manager of Davenport, Ryan Taylor, town manager of the town of Dundee, Fred Hilliard, the city manager of Fort Meade, Jenny Crowley, City Manager of Frostproof, 
Tony Delgado, Deputy City Manager, City of Lakeland. Mike Britt, Natural Resources Director of Winter Haven. Ken Fields, City Manager of Lake Wales. David Bahan, Utilities Director of Winter Haven. We have other senior staff members, utility directors and public works directors who are all part of this, this team. <clears throat> on the outset, I want to thank each of you for your service and your stewardship on behalf of the citizens of the state of Florida. A decade ago, <clears throat> Polk County found itself under a consent order and in serious conflict with this board. We were over pumping our permitted quantities and we had made water supply commitments we could not keep. Your predecessors, rightfully so, saw fit to adopt a Southern Water Use Caution Area Recovery Plan. From that adversity came strength. As we learned, our neighboring utilities to the Northeast also faced similar issues. The City of St. Cloud, Toho Water Authority, Orange County, and the Reedy Creek Improvement District, along with Polk County, we're all competing for the same water supply to the detriment of each other. This group came to be known as the Stopper Group. Instead of a long-term and drawn-out and expensive litigation, this group of governments formed a coalition and through agreements and cooperation were successful in achieving a regional approach to the permitting process. Subsequently, some of these utilities have interconnected for emergency and interim supply needs. This collaborative regional approach continues with the assistance of the South Florida Water Management District as we pursue the Cypress Lakes Water Project. From a decade ago, starting with the support of the Board of County Commissioners, adopting a reasonable capital improvement project budget, there has been a change in management, a change in our professional staff, and a change in attitude. Polk County now has a history of thinking responsibly, proactively, and regionally. The lesson learned with the Stopper Group is now the basis on which Polk County has been working with its city partners to balance the demand for current and future water service with an environmentally protected and a sustainable water supply. In 2008, Polk County received assistance from the Southwest Florida Water Management District and the South Florida District in developing a comprehensive water supply plan for the municipalities and the county service area. <coughs> that plan is complete and is now the basis of moving forward. With 17 municipalities, both large and small, in the urbanized area of the county, the challenges are many. We know there is no more cheap water. We know it will be necessary to identify and implement alternative or non-traditional water supply sources and projects. To date, the county has been the leading effort to bring forth a 30 MGD alternative water supply project to benefit all the citizens, tourists, and seasonal residents of the county. Approximately $4.2 million has been spent by Polk County in permitting and initial testing in the Southwest Wellfield. We are most grateful for the district's support and assistance in drafting a funding mechanism and the promise to set aside substantial funding assistance for this 30 MGD AWS project. The draft agreement has been shared with our city partners and after considering everyone's point of view and input, we are ready to move forward with a new and faster path to success. The resolution before you today has a shorter milestones than the earlier version and facilitates moving sooner to forming the regional water supply entity. The project and projects will be selected by our new collaborative countywide entity, along with a corresponding funding and implementation plan. The parties are at the table and all the players understand that if you go it alone, you will be alone. We are most thankful for the district has partnered with all of us in helping us shepherd this regional solution to a regional challenge. We could not and cannot do it without you. We appreciate your support and your encouragement. We respectfully request your continued support by passing this resolution before you today. Some of my colleagues would also offer a few comments for your pleasure. <clears throat> 